don't really enjoy going outside. You prefer to just stay in your room, scroll on TikTok, watch a movie, scroll on TikTok, and just chill. But the thing is, every day feels like the same day. You wake up, reach for your phone, go on social media, eat brunch because you eat so late into the day that you can't really call it breakfast anymore. You watch a movie for hours and hours on end. You eventually get bored so you go back to social media, calling on Instagram feeds and then you go on YouTube to watch the same channels that say the same things over and over again. Deep down, you know your life can get much better than it currently is. Maybe you watch some self-improvement videos like this, looking for that aha moment, that special source, that secret mindset that will propel your life from where you are right now to where you want to be. That mindset that will make everything make sense. But instead of waiting for that aha moment, you could be doing something right now a whole lot simpler. There is an easier way to escape the rut and that is to go outside. I know that may sound a bit condescending. I'm sure you might be like, how will going outside fix my grades? How will going outside help me financially? How will going outside make me healthier? How will going outside stop me from being a depressed person? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing with you ways on how going outside can help you potentially solve all of these problems if you just stay with me for a moment. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so I figured instead of telling you guys about the benefits of going outside, why not I just go outside myself? Practice what you preach, right? So, we're outside! I mean, this is the first video we're actually filming outside. And sorry for any, like, change in quality because, like, I can't really control the sun and, like, the brightness and stuff. So, I'm hoping you bear with me on that because, yeah, this is, like, the first one we're filming outside. So, yeah. Benefits. So, what does going outside do to you? So, the first thing that it does to you, it gives you a mental reset. Now, the more time you spend being in your house, in your apartment, in your head, in your room, in your thoughts, it causes you to be hyper fixated on yourself and your thoughts. And when that happens, it actually causes you to feel like you're the center of the universe, that the whole world revolves around you. And while in reality, that's actually crazy far from the truth. But because you're so hyper focused on yourself, you tend to see that as true, that you are the center of the universe. But going outside actually gives you this mental reset. Because when you actually go outside, you actually observe people, you actually see other other people do people things in essence they are actually about seven other billion people just like you with that have dreams that have thoughts that have goals that have ambitions you actually tend to accept the fact that you are not actually that special now this may sound a bit weird like i mean because most times you tend to hear people tell you that we are the only type of yourself in the world i mean that's true to some extent but what i'm talking about is that when you tend to be hyper focused on yourself and see yourself as the center of the universe you tend to over focus on things about yourself that people don't really care about maybe you spent like a week cooked up in your room and you decide to go out for, for an event and you put on a Shirt and by the time you get to the event, you realize that there's a small red dot on your shirt. You would actually tend to hyper focus on that small red dot and let's say blow it out of proportion and think, Oh my god, everybody's gonna look at this small red dot and think I'm a dirty person or something. But in reality, people don't really care. People are thinking about what they're gonna eat like the next day or something. If, if it's an event that they're serving food, while they're gonna feed their bellies and stuff, and people don't really care about your red dot. But because you tend to, to fixate on the things you think about, especially about yourself, you tend to blow it out of proportion. Going outside more often actually helps to give you that mental reset and embrace the fact that people don't really care. That much you can walk on the road people don't really look at you that much they can think about their own problems and like how they're gonna fix it except maybe your family and friends or something even, and even with those people there are still some limits to how much they actually do care now personally how this really helps me is when i decided to start a youtube channel like yo i'm filming a video outside and people are like looking at me but because i've realized and i've embraced the reality that people don't really get, get people don't really give a give a whatever you want to add there i mean use your imagination but people don't really give a whatever and about what you do and what you and how you look and how you present yourself most people don't really care people are thinking about their own stuff like there's somebody right in front right now actually and he's lying on, on like on the grass like almost half naked right now and no, people are just still cycling around and people walking around nobody get, nobody cares bro and because of that realization i decided to start a youtube channel and i mean i'm actually making videos and i don't really care i'm I mean, I, I, I actually do care sometimes, but like, I mean, it's not, I don't care so much to the point that I'm not taking action on the things that I actually want to do because I'm hyper fixated on what another human being like me would think. Honestly, that's a waste of time. Oh yeah, somebody with a bicycle just passed. So yeah, and I don't care if he's looking at me. So mental reset. Now, another advantage, another benefit of going outside is that you get a higher level of serendipity. Like what is serendipity? If you don't know what that is, serendipity is basically you finding something or getting an insight that you did not have before. Now, maybe you could be going on a walk or listening to some audio book while you're going on a walk or maybe you're not even listening to anything at all. You're just observing nature. And an insight can just hit you and be like, oh wait, wait. Maybe the reason why I'm not really studying as much as I want to is because I need to reduce the level of anime and focus on my studies 
you could actually get that epiphany or something while you're on a walk listen to a podcast and i mean this is just an example i mean there are many examples actually problems that you could be going through right now and you haven't still found a solution yet is probably because you are still thinking the same thoughts that led to this problem in the first place now when you physically go somewhere else you automatically think different thoughts and there's a quote i like so much from richard raw which goes like this we don't think ourselves into new ways of living we live ourselves into new ways of thinking most people that perform on a, at on a high level you find out that they actually do take periodic vac- vacations to like a different environment and when they oh yeah there's somebody running and playing music in the background so and when they come back they actually come out with like new insights new ideas new creativity that like takes that their company to like the next level because of a change of environments that led to a change in thoughts and change in the ways of thinking that they were so accustomed to because they were boxed in or hemmed in into one place now the more you go out the more you interact with people the more you expose yourself to like nature the more you can actually expose yourself to new ideas that you really did not know existed before now the next benefit is increased levels of concentration now research has shown time and time again that time spent outside especially in nature in the natural environment like this one like this is a really beautiful park actually you guys should check it out it's really nice um like in nature actually tends to improve concentration and also this research was actually done on children with adhd where they found out that when when they spent 20 minutes just walking outside like in nature or or in a park they discovered that the adhd symptoms dropped significantly so if you're having problems focusing on like your important tasks you can just block out a time during your day and just go for a walk in a park now this whole study was actually brought about by a guy that brought about a particular theory called attention restoration theory now this guy was looking for ways to actually restore attention because when you walk on tasks like really high mental tasks is actually draining mentally and to actually get back to another high level task you cannot really go back with the same force so you need to look for a way to actually restore your attention so this guy actually did made a research i can't remember his name but he actually coined the term attention restoration theory which led to the whole study being done on um on going outside and they tested people that went on in urban environments and tested people that actually went out in natural environments like this one and they discovered that people that actually went out in natural environments tend to increase their concentration a whole lot more compared to those that actually were inside and those that just walked in like urban environments like all brick walls and stuff so yeah go outside and and see what nature has to offer i mean you can it's not, it's not every time you get cooked up in your room bro like ah go outside man and it's not just increased focus studies have shown that you, you, you reduce stress by going outside your energy levels tend to increase compared to when you're just cooked up inside when you go outside and also there are lower there's a lower chance of you actually getting depressed when you are exposed more to mother nature and a natural environment like this there's a dog right in front of me right now and oh my god that's so cute I digress now, another really interesting benefit of going outside is that you actually exponentially perform better when you're working on creative tasks when you go outside nature has actually inspired creative endeavors for centuries take for example Leonardo da Vinci when he designed flying devices that actually gave inspiration to the airplanes we have now and take also for example when the submarine was invented it was actually gotten from whales for those of you who don't know this whales actually do not breathe underwater they literally have to sorry Oh, sorry, a, a helicopter. There's a helicopter flying right now, so sorry for the for the noise. But yeah, whales periodically come out of underwater to actually breathe in oxygen and then submerge again. So the whole idea of this of submarines actually came from someone observing whales and how they actually engage with their environments and it gave us the submarines and i mean these are just examples from, from, from the top of my head there are many other examples of people who actually through nature literally changed the course of history as we know it maybe you could be a youtuber maybe you could be a blogger maybe you could be an artist you could actually always get something from nature like this we just nature literally inspired this video right now that i'm outside and guys if you really want to see more videos of me outside like this put it on the comments below I actually do enjoy filming outside. I feel I feel more talkative actually compared to when I'm in my room. When I'm filming in my room, I feel more freer. I don't know if I, I don't know if, you've, if 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 it'll come out on the video, but I feel more free talking to you guys outside like this. No restrictions. I'm free to express myself and my craziness. With even though people are watching me, but I really don't care at this point actually. And yeah, and guys, if you like this video, please don't forget the like button. Oh my god, this I, should, I wish I came out a bit in the evening. I wish I came out a bit later because the sun is really hot right now. But yeah, and guys, if you like this video, please don't forget the like button. It helps your algorithm. And if you like content like this, please endeavor to subscribe. And if you love this video, I think you're gonna enjoy a video about how you can become a more action-oriented person. And yeah, click the video and and like always, guys. Remember to always keep it real. Okay, guys, yeah, click on the video and bye.